Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle how to spot outliers. Okay, so let's start. Ano ba yung outlier? An outlier is an observation now that lies an abnormal distance from other valleys in a random sample from a population. So, ganito lang yan. Yung value na yun, medyo off siya sa iba niyang kasamang value. Medyo malayo siya. So, okay. Let's know naman yung mga formulas. Okay? Okay, so let's talk about the formulas na gagamitin natin. Una yung greater than, that will be Q3. That's quarter quartile 3 plus mo ng the quantity 1.5 times mo ng IQR. Pangalawa, yung less than, that will be Q1 or quartile 1 or first quartile. Minus mo siya sa the quantity 1.5, multiply mo siya sa IQR. At, Yung interquartile range, ito yung IQR, will be yung Q3, Q3 minus man ng Q1. Ngayon yung para makuha yung IQR or the interquartile range. Okay, next. Procedure style. So, ito yung procedures para mahanap natin yung outliers. The first one is, arrange the data from lowest to highest. Arrange mo muna. Pangalawa, Hanapin natin yung median. Third, find Q1, first quartile. Fourth one is, hanapin natin yung Q3. Panglima, find the interquartile range or IQR. Kasi pag nahanap mo na yung Q1 at Q3, madali mo nang mahanap yung IQR. Panganin, apply mo yung formulas and finding the outliers. At last one, you can now spot the outliers. Okay, so let's have the first example. Okay, so you have this kind of data. Okay, 1, 14, and so on, and 11. You have 15 numbers. Now, the first one, paano natin nahanapin yung outliers? So, we need to arrange the data from lowest to highest. Alam na natin ang 15 numbers yan. Okay? So, in arrange ko na siya. Ang pinakababa is 1 at ang pinakamataas mo ay 28. So, may kita mo naman siya sa screen. Secondly, you need to find the median. Okay, you may or may not find the median. So, it will just help you to easily find the um, Q1 or Q3. Kung pwede mo naman hinanapin. Kaso kung medyo malaki yung or medyo marami kang data or numbers, you can use the formula na lang to find the Q1 and Q3. Okay, so obviously, ang median natin is 13. Kaso kung, kung medyo marami kayong data, to find the median, kung odd number siya, you need to add 1. So that will be, for example, this one is 15 numbers. There are 15 sa data mo, 15 numbers. Add ka ng 1, at divide mo ng 2. Yung pang 8, yung median. Okay? So, median natin dito, ang 8th term natin ay 13. Okay? Okay. Next one. Find Q1. So, ang Q1 natin dito is, tingin ka sa kaliwa ng median, Q1 natin dito is 11. Okay. There's a formula naman in finding the first quartile. Okay. And kahit hindi mo na need, hanapin yung median. Okay. So, okay. Ang first quartile natin is 11. Paano naman yung Q3 or third quartile? Okay. So, nikita natin that will be 15. Okay? So, that will be the 12th term. Yung quartile 3. So, quartile 1, that will be the 4th term. Okay. Dahil alam na natin yung Q1 and Q3, you may now find the, in, you can now find the interquartile range or IQR. So, paano ulit na yun? Yung quartile 3, ma minus mo siya sa Q1. So that will be 15 minus 11. That will be 4. So IQR not an I4. Okay, next. Now we're going to apply the formulas in finding the outliers. So the first one, yung greater than, yung sa Q3. Q3 plus 1 ng 1.5 times sa quantity IQR. At yung sa less than, Q1. Minus the quantity 1.5 times IQR. So, substitute natin. That will be Q3 is 15. 
So, plus mo ng 1.5, times mo ng quantity 1.5, times mo ng 4. Kasi ito yung IQR as 4. Okay. Next one. So, Q1 naman. That's Q1 is 11. 11 minus mo ng the quantity 1.5, times mo ng the quantity 4. Okay. So, simplify natin siya. So, the answer for the greater than is 21 at yung sa less naman will be 5. So, dito ma alam na natin kung ano yung outliers. Sabi dito, lahat daw ng numbers ang 21 pataas, yun yung mga outliers. At yung 5 pababa, outliers din. So, sa data mo, ang mas mataas sa 21 ay 28. So, isang outlier na yun. At meron nga din dito, mas mababa sa 5 or 5 pababa. That is 1. So, ang outliers natin dito sa data na to ay 1 at 28. Okay, so let's have another example. Ito ginawa ko naman 16 numbers. So, even numbers of data tayo. So, meron tayo dito 19, 20, 21, and so on hanggang 18. So, first one, i-arrange mo muna yung data from lowest to highest. So, 10 ang pinakamababa ko, oh, dalawang 10. At ang pinakamataas ay 27. Find the median. Okay, you may or may not naman find the median. So, um, saan kasi visually, makikita ko na agad ko na Q1 and Q3. So, there's a formula naman eh. So, median natin, that will be 22.5. Okay, kasi even number siya. So, kung ano yung average ng 22 at 23. Sa gitna. Next. Next, we need to find the Q1. So, visually, dalawa yung nasa Q1 natin, 18 and 19. So, you get just get the average na lang. That will be 18.5. That will be Q1. Next is Q3. So, to find Q3, okay, so, meron tayo dito, dito, 24 and 24. So, that will be the, so, 24 then siya, of course. So, that will be the, 12 and 13 term. Okay? So, kung yung may gitna ng 12 and 13 term, that will be 24 also. Kasi, average, diba? Okay. Next one. Let's find the interquartile range. So, Q3 is 24, minus mo siya ng Q1, which is 18.5. That will be 5.5. Now, let's apply the formula in finding the outliers. Okay. So, lagay ka yung formula at is substitute mo na siya. 24 plus mo the quantity of 1.5 times 5.5. At yung sa less than, it will be 18.5 minus the quantity 1.5 times 5.5. Kasi yun yung IQR mo, 5.5. Simplify it. So, greater than is 32.25. As a less naman, less than, it will be 10.25. So, Tinan natin yung mga data natin. Ano yung mga outliers? So, so wala mas mataas sa 32.25 na number sa data natin. So, okay tayo doon sa 27. Hindi siya outlier. Kaso dito, 10.25. Hindi umabot yung 10. So, yung dalawang 10 mo na yan, yan yung mga outliers. And that's the end of the lesson on how to spot outliers. And if you would like to comment or suggest another Matan language video or comment on kayo, please comment down below. Again, please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification para updated kayo sa mga bagong videos ng Matan language. Okay, thank you very much and I hope to see you again.